You must have wondered what's the difference between two very similar terminologies. For example, negligence and forgetfulness. Normally when we come across the discussions on Saho and Nisyan, in English we tend to translate both of these terms as forgetfulness. However, there are subtle differences between the two and I'd like to translate Saho as negligence and Nisyan as forgetfulness. Nisyan tends to be when somebody forgets something from their heart in a manner which will require them to repeat the action or start learning this knowledge from the beginning again. Whereas Saho means to forget something from the heart, but when an indication appears in front of you, you remember it again. These terms tend to be studied or come about whenever we study different subject matters including fiqh, jurisprudence, theology, aqaid, and even philosophy. Scholars of philosophy have mentioned a slightly different definition in which they say that nisyan or forgetfulness is when somebody forgets something that has a reality to it, physical or immaterial. Whereas saho is when someone forgets something which doesn't have a reality to it, normally within one's mind. In jurisprudence, in fiqh, we see that there is a mentioning of saho whenever we come to the salah and its ahkam, its laws. We find there's something known as sajdatu saho. There's prostration for that which has been forgotten or neglected in the prayer. There are some aspects of the prayer, some actions which if one forgets intentionally or unintentionally, they have to repeat the prayer from the beginning. But there are other actions which if missed out unintentionally can be compensated for by this prostration of neglectfulness. And finally in theology, we have powerhouses such as Sheikh al saduq who have mentioned that in their opinion, the Prophet was neglectful of certain aspects in certain actions. However, in modern day understanding, in mainstream teachings of Shia Islam today, we find that scholars agree that neither the Prophets or the Holy Prophet or the Imams or Sayyidah Fatima, neither did they have sahu, neither were they neglectful of anything that had to do with the propagation of the religion or were they forgetful in forgetting any aspect of the religion which would have aided and been a part of their mission.